Hi, I'm Styles from Generator Guru. I quite often get asked, are AVRs all the same? No. Simple answer, no. They may look the same, but they're not the same. There's only a few different shapes that they come in. Usually half moon shape, rectangular shapes, you know. Um, they're not wired the same though, so you've got to be very careful. Now there's also different grades of AVRs. Now I only deal with grade A AVRs. Now those have got copper bushes, so they're going to last you a long time. Unfortunately, quite a lot of the ones that are for sale out there are grade D. Now, you might expect a grade D maybe to last you a year. And that's not a year worth of usage, that's just a year in general. What happens is they actually degrade inside. Now you have to make sure you get the right AVR for your generator. Don't just go by what it looks like, just double check. Now if you order off of me, don't worry. Just write down when you order what you make and model generator is and I will always double check for you. Now, there's many differences. As you can see on the inside, they quite often got this plastic, what looks like wax. Now the point of that is so you can't see how they're wired up and, you know, so they can't be copied in the industry. Now, you have to make sure that you've got the one that's the right way wired for yours. Don't worry about the wire colours. Wire colours will change depending on the manufacturer. But, you can have very different layouts behind here that you can't tell the difference of. So always ask a generator guru if you're not sure. You don't want to go and buy the cheapest AVR on the market. It may sound like a good idea, but what happens is they've got paper capacitors inside of them. Now the problem with paper capacitors is that when you store your generator in your shed or in your garage, the humidity in the air gets into the capacitor. And what happens is the first time that you start it up after that, it surges the capacitor and blows the whole AVR because you can't get them apart. You'd have to buy the whole unit. Now, when you have put on the AVR, sometimes what happens also is that the power isn't coming out to full strength. Now that's very easy, don't worry. The AVRs are made so they can be somewhat adjusted. You'll see on this AVR that there's a little screw there. Don't know how easy you can see it. It's usually on a blue background. Now, you can adjust the uh, voltage output from that, usually by about 5 or 10 volts. If you find it's more than that, then either your engine might be going too fast, or um, might be something wrong with your alternator. If so, and you're not sure, check out my How to Test an Alternator in AVR video. If you have any questions, as I say, get in contact with me on my website. Always happy to help. Any questions, I'll come straight back to you. This is Styles from Generator Guru. Thanks for listening.